mutations, drug resistance, surveillance, treatment guidelines, drug discovery, and vaccine development. Now, in proteomics, you can think about the large-scale protein or peptide identification. So proteomics is the large-scale study of entire set of proteins or the proteomes expressed by an organism or by a cell of an organism. Proteins are the primary functional molecules in the cells and proteomics. It aims to understand their structure, function, and interactions. So in protein identification and quantifications, using techniques like mass spectrometry to identify and measure the level of different proteins in a sample, which is quite time-taken process, but it is commonly used. The structural proteomics predicting and modeling the three-dimensional structures of the proteins, analysis of the protein interactions, studying how proteins interact with each other to form cellular networks. So these are the summarized applications which you can see here. For example, geotome, TFAM, KEG, reactome, HPRD, interpro, string, these are the databases which you are using for protein identify uh, protein functional assay, cell tissue, functional analysis, protein assemblies, proteins, peptides, LCMS, MS, and many more kind of identification. Now, you can think about the types of proteomics workflow depending on the exam machines which you are going to use for protein identification. Are you going to work for limited number of peptide or protein identification, or you are going to hold proteomics identification and characterizations? This depends on you. And based on that, you can prepare the workflow for proteins identification. Now, transcriptomics, which is very common and frequently used, especially in academia for research purpose. Transcriptomics is the study of full set of RNA transcripts or the transcriptome in a cell under specific conditions. It reveals which gene are which genes are active and how their expression levels changes in different conditions. Gene expression analysis using techniques like RNA sequencing and microarray analysis compare gene expression patterns between different cell types or disease states. Regulatory analysis investigating the mechanisms that control the gene transcription. And in the right side, you can see the advanced level application in transcriptomics for the bioinformatics tools and techniques or your own developed methods. For example, here, molecular immunophenotypes identification. This is one way to identify. Figure B is co-expression networks of the genes and then upstream mechanisms, then single cell transcriptomics, and finally personalized transcriptomics for clinical diagnostic purpose. Now, you can think about also metabolomics, which is also commonly used, especially for those people who are working in plant or environmental science. Metabolic metabolomics is the study of a small molecule metabolites found within a biological system, such as a cell, tissue, or organism. Metabolites are the end products of cellular processes. Here, pathway analysis, analyzing metabolic networks to the understand biochemical processes, diagnostic biomarkers, identifying the metabolites associated with diseases for diagnostic purposes. If you want to see all the application in terms of research paper, I have my own publication for almost all the system biology and bioinformatics branches application, which you can see on my Google profile, Google Scholar profile, or you can see on the research gate or some other profiles. And you can just search my complete name, Muhammad Mawashir, and you can find all the research papers and diverse application of bioinformatics for research paper publication.